We're coming on the air with breaking news about a deadly school shooting in Winder, Georgia. That's about an hour northeast of Atlanta. As you can see the students waiting to be reunited with parents. We know emotions are running high. That is why we're seeing such a significant presence of law enforcement to try to make this as orderly as possible. Boy, the Democrats couldn't wait to jump on this one. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I want to give my condolences to the family. I'm a parent, so I, I know I could only imagine. I ain't say I know. I could only imagine the hurt and the, and the despair and the anger that a parent would feel if your child lost their lives, especially when you take them to school expecting them to get an education to be protected, and then you get a phone call or you get a visit from a police officer saying that they're no longer with us. So I want to first start out by saying that before I give any other commentary. Second thing that comes to my mind is that the Democrats can't wait to jump on top of this. The third thing that comes to my mind is that when will this stop? Because we prepare better. It, it, it angers me that we still see things like this going on in America today when it's easily fixable. It's the easy remedy that don't have nothing to do with the United States government. But let me play this clip because it's breaking news about the shooting that happened in, in a northern a north of Georgia town um, at a high school. Uh, I forget the name of the high school. It's going to pop up here. Good day, everyone. We're coming on the air with breaking news about a deadly school shooting in Winder, Georgia. That's about an hour northeast of Atlanta. The early reports were that uh, around 1020 this morning, law enforcement were summoned to the school on word of an active shooting. What we can tell you right now is that uh, two people are confirmed dead, at least two people, at least four people have been injured. Uh, we wanna go right now to Morgan Chesky, who's been monitoring the scene there. Morgan, what more can you tell us? Yeah, Lester, that information is still preliminary, but it is confirmed as of this hour as a result of this school shooting that, as you say, was first reported around 1023 local time at Appalachia High School. That is in the small community of Winder, Georgia, about 50 miles northeast of Atlanta. This video is from our affiliate in Georgia, and you can see a massive law enforcement presence in and around that high school. The entrances and exits, you can see multiple officers located, and there hundreds of students have been directed to that football field where the district is saying they will be reunited with their parents soon. We are still awaiting an official update from authorities there on the scene. We do know, according to the FBI, that their Atlanta office is aware of this current situation. Agents are on scene coordinating with and supporting local law enforcement. Our affiliate there reported at least one medical helicopter taking someone away from that scene. Of that number impacted that you mentioned, Lester, two confirmed fatalities, four confirmed injured. I think it's very important to stress that the gunman is in custody at this time. We do not know if they are one of those who are wounded or the weapon that was used. We're only hearing reports that gunfire took place inside this high school around 1023 local time. Uh, incredibly dynamic situation there. As you can see, the students waiting to be reunited with parents. We know emotions are running high. That is why we're seeing such a significant presence of law enforcement to try to make this as orderly as possible. Uh, but unfortunately, this again is preliminary information. We do anticipate hearing significant updates from authorities. All right, so just real quick, the more accurate update that's a little more new, I mean, we played the breaking news clip, but the, the, the more accurate information is this one here. It says that the Apache High School in Winder, uh, Georgia, four are dead, 30 plus are wounded. Uh, the suspect is in custody. FBI has responded. Let, let, me, let me just give some context here. Um, at this point, I don't know what started the incident that led to a person going into the school and shooting is rumored that the kid was 14 years old and they haven't disclosed what type of weapon that he used. When it comes to four people deceased and 30 people wounded and the suspect didn't either off himself or he didn't get off by police officers, more than likely, in my opinion, he probably was using a handgun. And, and, and I also believe that's the reason why we don't know the caliber of gun yet because it probably wasn't a rifle. And if you unobstructed, 
which it appears that he wasn't. He wasn't obstructed. At least, at least that's not what we the information that we've gotten. Because if you get a kid in the school active and a police officer, th- there's going to be an exchange, and more than likely the kid won't survive that exchange. According to the information that I have now, that doesn't appear that there was an exchange, and it doesn't appear that anybody else is injured uh, when it comes to the law enforcement side. So to me, it seems like this could be a conflict of a kid having a conflict with a few kids or another kid decide to go and shoot and other people got injured in the, in the exchange. Now I could be completely wrong. I don't know. I'm just giving my preliminary thoughts based on what I've, what I've been able to discover because only for when it appears that there wasn't a confrontation against the police seems to be a very low number um, in comparison to if a person went into school like in Uvalde and some of these other massive situations where there's 20 plus people that are injured. The first thing that Democrats are going to do, and I can, I can put my life on it. The first thing that they want to do is make this about gun laws. Well, murder is already against the law. Did that stop this kid from doing it? No, a 14 year old in possession of a firearm is already against the law. Going onto campus with a firearm is against the law. Discharging a firearm in the city limits is against the law. All of these things are already against the law. If if, if a person don't care to break none of those other lawful, uh, uh, those other laws that are put into place, they don't care about none of the other stuff that y'all trying to do. A 14-year-old kid, he can't buy a gun in the store anyway, but... If the person hadn't cracked up already, they'll pass a background check. They'll pass a mental health evaluation. All of those things, all it does when they start to promote these gun laws and gun restrictions, all they do is restrict law-abiding citizens. Thugs don't care. They're going to buy guns. They're going to steal guns. They're going to get stolen guns, and it is a plethora of stolen guns. I can go right now to Chicago, Illinois, where all the people of the melanin live where there's shootings every single day and twice over on the weekends. I can get a stolen gun, easy. I guarantee you I can. I can get one with a switch on it. You got cash money, you can get a stolen gun. That ain't never going to stop. I don't care how many laws you put in place. I don't care how many guns you ban. There's going to always be guns out there, period. Putting these legislative measures on it do nothing but hurt law-abiding citizens. But here's one thing that they can do, and I'll get to some more news here. But here's one thing that they can do. Secure the effing school. It's not that hard. I I am going to be tremendously upset if I find out that there was no law enforcement officers at this school at the time of the shooting. I'm I'm hoping that there is one. That's why he only was able to shoot four people instead of 4,400 people. I mean, because this school looks massive. That's got to be at least 1,200 kids go to school. I don't know, Dave, if you could look that up for me. That, that's a massive school. That looks like a 5A school. But anyway, I would be upset if law enforcement wasn't on campus because every campus, every school in the United States of America, we already paying taxes for it, should have security officers at the school. Not only just for an active situation, but they should be at the school Um, Also, in case something happens at the school between amongst teachers and amongst students, they can be proactively there to assess the situation. Also, all the doors in the school during school hours should be locked. I do not want to hear that this kid somehow went through a door on the side somewhere after school has already started. And then also there's reports right now of the, the uh, high school receiving a phone call this morning that warned them of the shooting. That's what officials say. It says the high school, uh, the center of today's shooting in Georgia, received an early phone call threat. Multiple law enforcement officers, um, officials tell CNN. It says law enforcement officers in Georgia say the Apache high, uh, high School received a call this morning warning that there would be a shooting at five schools in the Apache. I'm assuming uh, the Apache would be the one first. So I'm, I'm hoping and assuming that cops had showed, showed up there before the, the person showed up there. Now, I, I'm going to say this because I wasn't going to get my third point, but I'm going to say this anyway, and then I'm going to read the, the fake president's uh, response. It, it's, it's interesting to me. Y'all just hold this in your, in your arsenal. I, it could be totally wrong. It's interesting to me that you, we don't know the race, the gender, and the weapon. 
That's just, I'm just putting it out there. It could mean absolutely nothing. Maybe it means nothing. But I swear that when there's a white kid that shoot up the school, they can't wait to blast that the, the kid was a white kid. When there's an AR used, they can't wait to say it's an AR-15 used. If the kid is a male, straight, no, whatever the case may be, they can't wait to tell you it's a male 14-year-old kid that had an AR. But it, when, when they don't tell you those details, it make me just wonder, like, was the kid actually white? Was the kid actually a male? Is the kid actually a part of the LGBTQ alphabet? Was there a handgun used and not an AR-15? I'm just just put that in your in your in your mind pocket. All right. Uh, the president of the United States of America said Jill and I are mourning the death of those whose lives were cut short due to more, more senseless gun violence. And thinking of all the survivors whose lives are forever changed, what should uh, have been a joyous back to school season in Winder, Georgia, has now turned into another horrific reminder of how gun violence continues to tear our communities apart. Students across the country are learning how to duck and cover instead of how to read and write. We cannot continue to accept this as normal. Name the last time the president made a statement when somebody got shot in, 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 uh, in Chicago. No, 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 no. Y'all name me when there's 45 shooters in Chicago, kid gets shot in the head from a stray bullet. I, I, I was in, I think I was in Detroit. They had a shooting at a splash pad. Like three teenagers got killed. He don't come out, they don't come out and make a statement when it's inner city violence every single weekend. But when it's in a school somewhere and they can use this as a political ploy, they want to talk about it. They want to get their condolences. They want to have a, a briefing from the president of the United States of America. But but in, in the hood, every day, which is majority of the shootings. They don't get a, a little a little a little uh, article written, a press release written about senseless violence. Kids should be ducking the cover instead of instead of getting education. Come on, come on. We we already know what they're doing here. For those of you who are interested, just just a little bit of background on this school. Um, there's about 1,800 kids enrolled into the school, which which makes it a, a pretty large school. I mean, I think that's probably right under 6A. So that's probably a 5A school. Um, and, and, and one interesting thing to note is that it's not an all white school like some people probably would imagine because that's what people think about when they think of these shootings, because the media has brainwashed us into believing that only shootings happen to white kids in schools when majority of these students are gun violence between gang members and suicides. Sixty percent of all uh, gun violence death are suicides. And more people get shot with handguns, more people get stabbed and beaten to death than with AR-15s. But that, that's just me. Brandon Tatum just giving you too much information. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, this school has majority minority. So 53% of the students enrolled are minority students. Uh, that means everybody that ain't white. You got 46% that are white, another 26 are Hispanic, 17% is black, and then the other minority groups that they lump in there. So this is a 50-50 school, perhaps. And, of course, you know, on the school site, they give them a minority score. I mean, you know, minority don't mean nothing. They couldn't even keep the school safe. So what, what's, what's, the, what's the point of, of uh, notar notarizing minorities? But anyway, uh, the school seems like a pretty below average school. I mean, not to drag on the school. I'm just giving you guys some information on it. We'll put the link in the description section. When you look at the national ratings, I mean, 84, 8400th school, 211th in the state. I mean, this is this is kind of the bottom of the totem pole, probably a public school. But it'd be interesting to see when it's all said and done, what information comes out, what information is left out. I'll conclude this video with just my synopsis. I'm sick of watching this happen. These things were 100 percent avoidable. And introducing laws is not the first step to do any of this. It's really not. How about we just enforce the laws that are already on the books? How about we just make sure a 14 year old don't have a gun in their hand? And if a 14 year old or whatever age this kid is have a gun in his hand, it's how we make sure he don't get into school. Let me just make this point and I'm going to shut the front door. The reason that kids go to schools is because they're sitting targets. That's it. That kid, if he wanted to do some damage, he could have went to a grocery store. He could have went to a carnival. He go to a school. Because why? Nobody got guns at the school. They're going to continue to be hotbed target places if we don't secure the effing schools. You can put as many laws as you want on the books, man. People want to nut up, they're going to nut up, man. If they want to go crazy, they're going to go crazy. 
But what you can protect is that when they want to go crazy, they ain't going to go to that school. Why? Because they got police officers at school. You're going to get gunned down before you ever get to the kids. This happened at a Duncanville school. A kid tried to come into a summer camp and, and, and got smoked in the parking lot. He was fended off by this counselor at the school who had a gun. And they, and they had all the doors secured so he couldn't get in the side doors. And the police showed up and smoked him like a brisket. That's, that, it's really that simple. They'll make it difficult. They want to they make it a political thing. It's very simple. Secure the schools. Allow teachers who are, are, are trained to carry a firearm in the school if they want to. And have police officers at the school. One, one entrance exit. That will mitigate school incidents like this by 90%. In the state of Texas, where there's police officers at the school, teachers are allowed to carry a gun, it has never been a shooting in the history of Texas schools where all three of those things apply. But the government and the, and the political people don't want you to know that and they don't want to, they don't want to talk about that. They just want to put more laws and more laws and more laws and more laws in place that don't work. And then the average people that are good law-abiding citizens just want to protect themselves from a tyrannical government, they're going to be the ones jumping through hoops. It ain't going to be the 14-year-old. It ain't going to be the criminals, not the gang members. And then they letting these, all these illegals in the country just wait till you don't have a gun and they do. Think they're taking over apartment complex now. What else are they going to take over? You think they're going to do a gun buyback? You think an illegal alien going to do a gun buyback? Oh, you know what? I was going to go shoot up that place, but you know what? I'm illegally in this country. I can't do that. You think that's what they're going to do? Or a fortune you're going to say, you know what? It's illegal for me to possess this firearm, and I was going to go to that school, but it's illegal for me to have a firearm. Dang on it. I got to wait till I'm 21 years old. Ain't never going to happen. Laws ain't going to work. Are there laws that you can put in place that can mitigate? Yeah. But... That should be state level stuff, and it should be very minimal. There's not a lot of laws around free speech. There shouldn't be a lot of laws around the Second Amendment either. Anyway, I could talk about this for 100 years, but I just wanted to get that information out there. I'm kind of skeptical given the fact they haven't disclosed much of the information. That doesn't mean that it's 100% accurate that it's a minority person as a trans. It's just that they get real weird with this stuff, and they don't want you to know. They don't want to highlight the person if the person ain't. The, the, the model citizen for gun violence that they want. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.